This is an introductory video on the new Hewlett Packard calculator HP Prime. Well, new to me, I know it's been on market for a few years now, and many of you are experts on it already, but to me and to my students, it is a new machine. So here it is, the first of the videos on how to set it up, or rather how I, a newbie, set it up. For a while, the HP 50G has been, for years actually, the flagship of the Hewlett Packard calculators. But that is no more. Hewlett Packard has retired the wonderful HP 50 and has replaced that by the more powerful, wonderful, and flashy color screen, high resolution touch screen HP Prime. And this video is dedicated to this HP Prime introduction. How to use it as a calculator. How to use it as a calculator? Yes, because you see the HP Prime is not one, but two machines in a one. It is a powerful engineering and scientific calculator, but it's also a computer. It is a very tiny portable computer that's already been preloaded with a subset of something like MATLAB and also has Erable, which is something like Maple or Mathematica. The calculator works both numerical exercises and deals also with symbolic math. A wonderful machine. I recommend strongly that you download and install the free emulator for your laptop. How? Just Google download HP Prime emulator and it will take you where you need to go. Download it. Also, a very inexpensive emulator for your iPhone. There is also an emulator for the Android, but the one I found is slightly more expensive, almost twice as much. As I was saying, there are two machines in the HP Prime, so there are two modes of operation. To activate the calculator, just press the home key, the one with the little house icon uh, there. To activate the computer, press the CAS button, the calculator algebraic system or computer algebraic system, whatever you want to think of it, all right, you activate a computer in it. But before we do either of them, we'd better customize the settings of each mode to our likings and our needs. I don't know what you like or what you need, but I will do it for myself. If you're a new user of the machine, I suggest that you just look what I'm doing, use my settings, and eventually you'll decide what settings work better for you. How to set them up? Blue shift home icon. This blue shift key down here and uh, the same home icon key and that will allow you to set up the calculator and blue shift task key to set up your computer mode. Let's begin setting the calculator. As I said before, blue shift home key and that screen full appears. There are many settings you can change there. For me, I prefer the angle measure in degrees. You go to the little upside down triangle there. If you click on it, you have a menu that allows you to choose from different options. In my case, radians, degrees, gradients to measure angles. I'm an engineer. I prefer degrees. I select that with a finger. Remember, this is a touch screen calculator. Or you can move up and down with a rocker um, arrow key and then press enter there. Another setting that I'm going to change, of course, is the entry mode. For the sake of the videos, I will set the number format in fixed number of decimal digits, two places only. Um, but I suggest that you choose either standard mode or perhaps scientific or engineering mode with as many significant digits as you need. The digit grouping, uh, this field here, tells the calculator whether you want to separate integers from fractions using a point or a comma. How you separate thousands from hundreds? Uh, well, I chose that one. That little tick apostrophe there, that is my personal choice. Let's move on. Entry. What format we will use to enter expressions that need to be evaluated? 
Even though I am a through and through RPN user for this calculator, I will choose Textbook. I think it's natural, it's powerful, it's flexible. Another setting that is important to me is how complex numbers will be represented, either in binomial form, real part plus B times I, the imaginary unit, or in rectangular mode, parentheses, real part A, comma, imaginary part B, that's the one I prefer. Anyway, that was setting the calculator, all right? I prefer to unclick that little button that allows the calculator to give you a complex number as a response to a request that involves only real numbers. For instance, if I ask for the square root of negative 9 and that button is selected, it will respond that the square root of negative 9 is is what? Is 3i. That's right, an imaginary number. But if it's unclicked, it will report an error. I prefer to leave it unclicked, believe it or not, because that will give me less troubles when I'm solving equations using the computer. Oh, there is a typo there. It's not casa. It's cas. There is an extra a there. Let's set the computer. Blue shift, cas. Well, you see my settings, angle measuring degrees, pneumatic format standard with two digits only, etc., 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 etc. Let's, for this video, see how we can evaluate an expression in RPM, in textbook mode, in algebraic mode. Which one to use? Well, if you are a diet in the wool RPN fan, by all means use RPN if you have to. Just go blue shift home key, entry mode and select RPN. If you are not, choose between algebraic mode, which is how most calculators allow you to enter their expressions, or textbook, which is the one I favor for the HP Prime. Let's have an example. Let's begin with RPN because historically is the mode that most HP calculators have used and many of you have used other Hewlett Packard calculators before and are probably already RPM buff. Reverse polish notation. In RPM we enter operands first on a virtual stack of operands and then we issue a command for what kind of operation we want. With each operation the stack drops. Observe. First, we set the prime in RPN mode, and let me enter four numbers on that stack. How? 7 enter, 9 enter, 11 enter, 3 enter. So we have those four numbers, 7, 9, 11, and 3, on the stack. The numbers on the far left are the stack levels. Level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4. How many levels? As many as you wish. They will keep scrolling up past the screen, but that doesn't change that the numbers are still there on the stack. Now that the numbers are there on the stack, we can command either add, multiply, divide, subtract, or divide, and the calculator in RPN mode will combine the two on the bottom, and it will drop the rest. Let's say I command addition. I Press the addition key so it will add the two numbers at the bottom, 11 and 3, and will collapse them into a 14, and the numbers on the top of the stack will drop. Observe. Add. There you go. So 11 and 3 were combined into 14, and 7 and 9 drop. So I can continue ordering operations and combining them together. I can also roll the stack in many different ways, but we will not talk about that. That is enough for now. Let's use RPN to evaluate an expression, that expression. How we do that? Easy. Type 2, enter 3.2, right? And what? And subtract, subtract, that's right. And now square, sure, square. We have that term, the square of 2 minus 3.2. And then what? And then 7.1, do I need to type enter before that? No. A value that is the result of an operation will be automatically entered up on the stack when you type a new number. 7.1, enter, 32.2, sign. 32.2, sign. And now subtract, sure, subtract. 
and then what and then multiply and we have the numerator before we take the square root square root press the square root that is the numerator of the expression then what then 130 27 enter 52 subtract logarithm sure divide that is the value of that expression 1.62 and that was rpn let's do that again the way we do that in other calculators let's set the hp prime in algebraic mode right in algebraic mode we just write that expression as we would if we were using c or pascal or or fortran let's type that let's make sure shift home entry mode algebraic sure calculator mode and i type that square root parenthesis parenthesis 2 minus 3.2 close parenthesis raised to the power of 2 multiply don't leave out the multiplication operator right or the calculator will complain you just write all of that just make sure that the number of parentheses is the right one you don't really need to worry about closing parentheses because when you're typing using the keyboard of the calculator every time you open the parentheses the closing parentheses appear simultaneously the result is 162. let's do that now in text mode sure in text mode we write the expression like that we type enter and get the value 162. let's do that in real time allow me here there's a little movie for that shift settings of the calculator entry mode text book now we're in textbook let's go to the calculator mode with the home icon and type that shift square root open parenthesis 2 minus 3.2 shift out of there square here i don't need to write the multiplication operator that's neat right in textbook mode juxtaposition of two parentheses is an indicator to the calculator that you want to multiply them you just type that type enter and you get the answer 162. that is the end of this short first introductory video of the hp prime thank you very much for watching and i hope to meet you again in the next video in which we will be writing some very very simple programs good night